Earth Day celebrations and art installations. You're watching Richland Now. Thank you for watching Richland Now. I'm Gail Everett. The Richland Community Center is undergoing a little renovation and will have limited public access through May. They will be closed the week of April 10th from 8 to 4, except for Meals on Wheels personnel and AARP tax aid appointments. The facility will be partially open after 4 p.m. each weekday for limited scheduled activities, as well as on Saturday, April 15th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. The facility will be closed on Sunday, April 16th. The front doors will be locked, but signage directing users to an alternative entrance will be posted. The Mid-Columbia Electric Vehicle Association is holding an Earth Day EV car show at the Reach Museum from 10 to 3. It's the perfect opportunity to check out what people are driving and hear about the experiences of EV drivers. The event is free and open to the public. If you drive an electric vehicle, plug-in hybrid, or even an e-bike, you can register your ride at driveelectricearthday.org. Meanwhile, the Reach Museum is celebrating Earth Day from 10 to 4 with activities and presentations from community organizations, live music, food trucks, the first annual Poetry Slam, with a $150 prize awarded to the best original spoken word based on this year's theme, Healthy People, Happy Planet. For more information and to submit your work for the Poetry Slam, go to visittheReach.us. Hey, here is a call to all artists. The City of Richland and its Arts Commission have partnered with the National Fitness Campaign to install a fitness court in Howard Amon Park. As part of this project, the City is looking for digital artwork to be featured on its multi-purpose training wall. You can see examples of fitness courts and art murals at nationalfitnesscampaign.com. The fitness court mural wall will be 32 feet long by 7 feet high in size and printed digitally on high quality anti-graffiti laminated vinyl. The front side of the fitness court training wall will also feature four small zones of artwork framing the fitness court usage and reference information. The two side panels of the training wall will feature the selected artist's headshot, logo, and short bio or description of the work. Deadline for submissions is May 1st at 5 p.m. The City of Richmond invites you to celebrate Arbor Day and help continue our commitment as a Tree City USA and Tree Line USA community. It's all happening at Badger Mountain Community Park on Keene Road at 1 p.m. Proper tree planting techniques selection and placement will be shared and 10 new trees planted. The Friends of the Richland Public Library is holding their Spring Book Sale Thursday, April 27th to Saturday the 29th. A preview sale for members of the Friends organizations will be Thursday from 5 to 7. And then it's open to the public Friday from 10 to 5 and it wraps up Saturday with a $5 a bag sale from 10 to 4. The Richland Bomber Swim Team is hosting a swim camp the first to fifth grade program runs May 30th to June 2nd with a goal of learning basic strokes and getting introduced to competitive swimming. The sixth to ninth grade program runs June 5th to 8th and will help kids continue to develop their strokes and skills. Richland High School coaches and athletes will instruct participants. And the last day of the program will be a mini swim meet to help kids get a chance to compete in races. If you want to learn the cha-cha, the tango, waltz, or the rumba, you can sign up for classes at the Richland Community Center. Dance by Beth Trost will be teaching classes Wednesday nights with each month focusing on a different dance. Wedding couples are invited to have Beth choreograph a dance to their wedding song. Richland Fire and Emergency Services and the Richland Washington Police Department would like to offer their appreciation to all of the hardworking men and women at the Southeast Communications Center. Our dispatchers are the first first responders. Thank you for being the unsung heroes of public safety in Benton and Franklin counties. To the men and women who answer these calls who are focused, dedicated and ready, thank you for all you do every day. We depend on you and we salute you. Richland Parks and Rec hosted their spring pop-up play day on April 6th. 
Over 100 kids enjoyed playing with the big toys and other activities and visiting the informational booths by the National Park Service, the library, and more. Keep an eye out for more pop-up play days throughout the year at richlandparksandrec.com. The City of Richland has released its 2022 Water Quality Report. Once again, we're proud to report that last year, as in years past, Richland's tap water met all of the United States EPA and state drinking water health standards. Richland Water vigilantly safeguards its water supplies in order to continue providing safe drinking water for our residents. You can find a copy of the report at the City's website below. The City of Richmond would like to recognize our April Milestones in Service. Congratulations and thank you to Tracy Olerman for your 24 years at SeaCom. Enjoy your retirement. You will truly be missed. Also, congratulations to Nicole Westfall on 20 years, Adam Hardgrove for 15 years, Christopher Mason for 10 years, and Julie Jackson and Heather Zanin for your five years of service. Thank you for all you do for Richland and its citizens. If you would like more information on any of these or other stories, visit the City of Richland website below. And don't forget, we are where you are. Find us on all of the popular social media platforms. I'm Gail Everett and thank you for watching Richland Now.